Hey, what's up? What's up, YouTube? Glorious Doba here. Today I'll be doing a video unboxing of the Final Fantasy 15 Collector's Edition Strategy Guide. I got this on a PlayStation 4, uh, but the Strategy Guide uh, caters to all the systems, consoles, and PC. Anyways, um, I got this at GameStop, uh, my local GameStop, for $35.99, along with the game. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. It tells you all the secrets and stuff, the walkthroughs, but... Um, I played the game for a few weeks now. It's pretty cool. I know a lot of people don't like the combat system, but I like it, and it's kind of fresh and new. And it even says in the beginning, you know, for Final for Final Fantasy fans and uh, newcomers, I think. <clears throat> but anyways, uh, for thirty five ninety nine, I got this at my local GameStop. I think you guys can get it at GameStop, Best Buy, Target, Walmart, online, Amazon, or whatever. And uh, here it goes. That's the front of the. Collector's Edition Strategy Guide. <clears throat> there, if you guys can see it. It says, Final Fantasy 15, the complete official guide, Collector's Edition. Japanese game cover art as an exclusive lithograph. 32 page art gallery with commentaries from the development team. An exclusive 34 by 25 map poster. So, if you're lost, you know, you guys can use it. Covering the massive game area. And premium hardcover and printed on superior quality art paper, as you guys can see. All in black <clears throat> with a cool Final Fantasy 15 logo, kind of like you know, foily. On the back, explains everything the ultimate guide. You know, it says here. I sincerely hold the piggyback team's work in high regard and have come to see this guide as an exceptional piece of work, being the perfect partner for adventures everywhere. By Hajime Tabata, a director for Final Fantasy XV. This is totally comprehensive. All secrets, bonuses, rewards, collectible items, hidden parameters, trophies, and achievements. You won't miss a thing. All-in-one visual solutions, maximum flexibility, all systems, all game systems decoded, and 100% complete main mission, side quests, and optional challenges. And then, you know, it says right there the poster inside. <clears throat> so let's take a look. Use a pen. There we go. Take this out. There you guys go. That's the front of the cover from the hardcover uh, strategy guide. It's pretty cool, all in foil, black. That's the front. <clears throat> and on the binding, Final Fantasy 15, the complete official guide, collector's edition. There you guys go, in silver foil. On the back, it has that paper, explains everything I just uh, told you guys earlier. Nothing on the back. It's a very thick, you know, collector's edition as usual. That thick. So let me open it up. First off, uh, when you open it up, it shows Prince Noctis on the back of the front hardcover. It's pretty cool. And then this is the map. You guys can see, I'm, I'm going to open it later and put this aside. And this is that lithograph that they were talking about. It's pretty cool. Uh, when you play the game, um, this is like the load screen in the beginning where it shows them, you know, going to uh, off into the distance for a new adventure with Gladiolus, <coughs> Prompto. Uh, I forgot the other guy's name. It starts with an I, but anyways. And then uh, Prince Noctis. There's Gladiolus. You open it up. <clears throat> and you know, forward by the director who, of the Final Fantasy 15 himself. Yeah, let's go. I don't read all that. And then 
contents. And this is quick start, primer, walkthrough, side quests, inventory, bestiary, all the beasts that you want to find out what their weaknesses are, strengths, strategy, and analysis. It's all there. So let's open it up. So it's kind of cool characters. King Regis, Prince Noctis Pronto, Gladiolus, Iris or Iris. I forgot the other guy's character's name. And then, uh, I don't know, this is a spoiler, but looks like. An older Prince Noctis, but anyways. Flip through the page, quick start guide. Other characters in there. Forgot a name. Sorry guys, I know I forgot the name, but I just played it for a few weeks now, so I'll remember it. And that one here. It shows you on screen display, so all the HUD explanation, what it talks about or what it explains. Your offensive moves for Prince Noctis. Um, the only thing I, I didn't like is you can't control the other uh, supporting characters in your party. And all there. So here. That's the primer, combat system, you know, the weight and difficulty. All right, guys, can zoom it in. Character progression. So you have all these skills, fishing, survival, cooking, and photography. Oh, there you go. Ignis. Ignis does the cooking. Prompto does the photography. And then fishing. You know, uh, Noctis can do that. And survival. Gladiolus is the party's uh, survival expert. So, you know, he's, probably, he's, like, he's the bodyguard. Prince Noctis. There it is. The beginning of the walkthrough with Prince Noctis on there. So, from chapters 1 through, I think... 15. So there's 15 chapters. I know, spoiler alert. Uh, there's the car right there, the Audi. Prince Noctis is, oh, uh, no, it's not an Audi, but Regalia. Sorry. And then uh, in the game, you can change colors, you can add stuff to it, you know, customize it. <clears throat> so here it is, you know, the chapter one shows the map of chapter one where you guys can go, all the secrets and the Elements, you know, the items that you can pick up, like these plants or whatever, to make ingredients for your potions. And then the actual uh, maps of the other ones. And you have the legend here for all the meanings of the symbols. Like, for example, uh, quality building stone, you know, like anklets, mega phoenix, elixirs. And then uh, there's like a, this green one, but um, it's like a weapon, but only after you finish the game. So there's like a green symbol there. So hopefully I'll be able to beat it in a few days. Is it I'm, I'm on chapter four. And then step by step walkthrough. So it shows you not just descriptions, but actual screenshots of where to go. And so you won't get lost. I for one got lost uh, on the chapter four, trying to find this uh, stone, but. I finally found it. There you guys go. You know, more of it. The Legend, Chapter 1. It goes through all the chapters. Let me just see. Here. Actually, I was wrong. It goes up to 14 chapters. You guys can see there. Oh, spoiler alert. Sorry, guys. And then here, shows you the side quest. It shows uh, Pronto. 
Well, that's pretty cool. Each section has their own character. You know, Prince Noctis with a walkthrough. Uh, inventory, let's see. Let me just go through there. Inventory, sorry guys, let me just. It's pretty cool. As I've guessed, Gladiolus for the next section for uh, inventory. And then I'm guessing the bestiary would probably be Ignis. Flip through this. I think this is Iris or something, yeah. Iris. So she's one of the supporting characters that you can put in the party. There's Ignis. Her strategy and analysis. So he's the one that analyzes all the beasts. That you guys encounter are the weaknesses, strengths, extras. Let's check it here. Extras. Sorry, guys. Let me just flip through it real quick. Yep. Spoiler alert. It's Prince Noctis when he's older. So I don't know. I mean, I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but hopefully I'll get to that part and finish it soon. Must have been amazing that part. The boss fights. It shows you all the trophies and achievements for the Xbox and PlayStation 4, Xbox One. You unlock it at different stages, it'll tell you chapter 1 through 14. Side quests, combat system. So I'm trying to do all the side quests too, so that I can get like a complete full experience. And then, you know, your index. This is like the history of Eos. So it's like a timeline. Tenebrae, Niflheim Empire, Graylea Captain, uh, Capital, and then Insomnia Capital, and Kingdom of Lucius, where, you know, King Regis used to reign, and uh, Prince Noctis is gonna reign. On his throne behind the scenes so it's like you know like kind of like concept art for uh, Prince Noctis shows you King Regis and when he was a child I think uh, the prologue you know the demo shows him when he was a little kid you got to replay that and then wow completely different uh, Gladiolus concept art wearing a baseball cap. Yeah. Then you have Ignis. Wow, totally complete. Completely different. Shows him wearing an apron or something. Almost like a skirt, but I can see why they changed it. It wasn't like maybe Final Fantasy standard look with a you know spiky hair. Oh wow, and Prompto. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, wow. Completely different. Little fatty right there, but anyways. He kind of looks like Cloud, you know, same haircut, but only blonder and. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Wow, that concept art. And then, uh. Princess Luna and Freya. Pretty cool with a white dress for her wedding. <clears throat> and then uh, one of the characters in the game, Arden. And then you have the Regalia right there. You guys can customize it. And I think Type F. Later on, you can be a flying car, a flying regalia. So that was a spoiler. I didn't even go that part yet. And then they're continuing the legacy with the chocobos. Let's go. Chocobos, Moogles. 
Yep. Cactars. I don't like how they put, uh, do the concept there for the Moogles. But I like the, you know, the furry, fluffy one that looks like a cat. This one looks kind of like weird, like a Pokemon or something. The balls look cool too. Location hunting. So this is like the actual um, Final Fantasy 15 team. I guess you know, they wanted to, you know, actually go to those locations in real life to like make the game levels, which is really breathtaking because I, I like it. It's open world. And it reminded me of like a Final Fantasy 10 with Tetris, open world. And this is, you know, concept art and uh, ideas for Lucis. Seaport or you know, the beach. So you all the different locations. Alright guys. More locations. Just flip through this. We have the concept art here. All the different cities, the places you go through at the game. And cool here. Leviathan concept art. And then your index. The last part. You want to know which page you want to look at walkthroughs, side quests, and then you have your credits, so pretty self-explanatory. Then you have the back, you have Prompto and Ignis, oh, that's pretty cool. So this is the front of it, with Prince Noctis and Gladiolus. There you guys go. And thank you so much guys for watching this video. Uh, unboxing of the Final Fantasy 15 strategy guide collector's edition you can get it at your local GameStop uh, Best Buy, Target, Walmart, Online, Amazon uh, for $35.99 thank you guys so much God bless